Do you like being a human being, but don't like having to deal with human beings? Well, Mashable says that 2017 is the year for you. Apple is making deals with movie studios, so you can see first-run movies at home through their Apple TV box. It will be pricey, but it'll be worth not having to go to a theater with icky people in it. And do you hate being with a human, even if they're facing the other direction and are separated by a barrier? Uber's introducing self-driving cars to a city near you. Even though they're not allowed in many areas, that will change because Uber does whatever it wants. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can go out to eat alone at Itza, a waiterless, cashier-free restaurant that started in San Francisco and expanded to New York. Just order on the kiosk, pick up your food, and eat while you stare at your phone. Who makes the food? Who knows? They're hidden behind a wall where they belong. And you can go shopping at Amazon Go. Just take your groceries and walk out. It feels like shoplifting, but Jeff Bezos still somehow ends up with all your money. And don't you hate that annoying 12 seconds you have to spend talking to the Starbucks employee every morning? You know, where you say tall latte and she says okay? Well, no more. Now you can order with the AI voice command on the new My Starbucks Barista feature. Sure, all this will save you time, but more importantly, save you from the awful experience of having to look in the face of a stranger and say thank you. Thank you, future. Rob, do I paint a bleak version, a vision of the future, or, uh, or what? Give me a break. What? Like, like, you love all that stuff. You're like, oh, you're, 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 the implication is that you just love to saunter around town and have these, like, uh, weird encounters with strange people. No, this sounds to me like paradise. You only have to interact with people that you choose to interact with. I think this is fantastic. It's great. Oh, but didn't I say that? You thought I was being sarcastic. You were being a little sarcastic, I thought. You were like, ah, you know, uh, you won't have to look in the eyes of a stranger. You can look in the eyes of a stranger if you want. You just don't have to have some weird conversation with the person in Starbucks. What, by the way, does not say when you say tall latte, okay, that there's some other thing and they give you something wrong. <laughs> no, <you do. laughs> the the they, thing on the pressing the button, you get what you want. Don't they write a, they write a message on the cup and they give it to you to make you think? They want to talk about whatever issue. I don't know. This is like, this, shut up. Give me do my you, coffee. Do you carry cash anymore? I do. You do. But that's just because I... I, I need it in my I need it in my day to day life <laughs> for my hobbies. <laughs> of course, I I won't ask about them. But Kirsten, what do you think of this? I bet you you uh, agreed with the um, with the the false characterization of my monologue. <laughs> you agreed with the sarcastic point of view that says this was a bad thing. You know what? Um, I tend to yes, just because I care about our future. I care about our young people. And they are just like texting all the time, and they just don't know how to communicate with another, each other anymore, yeah. and so that bothers me. But I'm a natural introvert, right? So I don't, I'm fine with sitting at home and watching my movies and not having to go to the movie theater. Like, and plus, we live in New York, okay? I don't want to talk to weird people that I don't have to talk to. Like, there's a lot of weird people in New York. But now if I go to the Midwest, where I'm from, or I go to the South, you know, then I'll engage with someone in conversation. It's a totally different experience. In New York, I want the privacy to not have to interact with weird people. Wow. Kirsten hates New Yorkers. Did you know that, Nick? <laughs> well, as one of the weird people that people have to talk to, I... I you don't want to talk to me either, right? I, I didn't so, say that. All right. But <laughs> I was going to say I, that I then we're in the... talking to, to anybody. No, I think it's a terrible idea. I don't think it's going to save any money. I don't think you're going to... I mean, for the consumers. You're not yeah. going to save any money by going to an automated grocery store than you would by going to one that, where you have to deal with a cashier. Automation is terrible when you look at just call centers. Nobody likes using an automated system. They're infuriating. Even if you have to sit on hold for 45 minutes, I'd rather talk to a human being than, than one of the, you know, press two for this. You always it press totally zero to get these. It no, totally depends on who you talk to. No matter what, it's, it's going to be bad. I don't like it. I don't like this idea. I don't think it would be good for anybody. You don't, it's interesting because I thought Nick would be the one that would like it. No. And it's Why? just the I, opposite. And you know what? I've never had a weird interaction with any, any barista at Starbucks, ever. Well, then, then you're the weird yeah. one. Then you're the weird customer because it's I was I was one weird person <laughs> yeah. in every exchange. I don't anything to him. I place my order. Maybe they mess up your name. Who cares? I don't need to have my name spelled right in a coffee cup. Nick is hard to spell. Yeah, okay, that's you're true. not a girl, <laughs> but you're not a girl. There's a difference, too, between the way that men experience weird people and women experience weird people. Well, this people. isn't going to stop totally calling. different, right? I mean, it's not like they have an automated home. Right, but if people. you can, like, put your hat down over your ears and just, like, not make eye contact, it totally makes a woman's experience better if you're not wanting to engage anyone in conversation. Well, we should have separate stores for women that only 
family they can go to. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then uh, you know, jobs and places where men can go during the day. But, but look, I mean, you're, you're wrong about the money. You, you do save a lot of money, and, and that's what every time they raise the minimum wage. Of course. And those, those, those restaurants just develop, you know, touch screen interfaces. Oh, if you don't like this, if you don't like to their profit margin, they'll pass those savings down on the consumers. Sure, no, but the cost get passed down to the, the consumers. Absolutely. If you can cut yes, labor in half, then yeah, you, yeah, cut, absolutely. you cut labor, but these existing businesses will just continue to keep the prices where they are. No, no, no. They they'll compete. They compete no, no, for, no. they compete. Well, look, what Every, do you think of these? I've been to these restaurants, you know, uh, the first one okay. I saw was in Chicago. Mm -hmm. When I went in and I ordered noodles on the touch screen, and then the, the noodles came, and I didn't have to deal with anybody, and I, I liked it. You ordered noodles? Yeah. What, what Look, restaurant I, was this? You ordered noodles. <laughs> I Just ordered noodles? It, was, uh, it was a ramen place. It was a one ramen of these. Place. So they used to have these in New York. They were called uh, automats, where they yeah. would just have all the food and windows. It and looks little... like an automat. Look yeah, at the yeah, place. Yeah. Well, that is an automat. If you, don't, if you don't like automation, and you don't, you don't want this stuff to happen, then the worst thing, the worst policy would be raising the minimum wage, because that's right. what's going to push this stuff in faster and faster. I get what Nick's saying. I don't really like the automated service online. I've had when you check out of the grocery store, and then I, I don't really love that service. But we're a couple years away from it being perfected, and it'll be great. And so, yeah, I don't know. It's not a big problem. I, I I'm have just a, tuning I, you guys out. I have, oh, a, yeah. I have a, <laughs> as an as a yeah. That thank you. Um, as an introvert, though, I, I have a theory. I have a theory that all of the um, output that you do during the day when you're talking to random people that you don't necessarily want to talk to, it makes introverts exhausted at the end of the day. So actually, this will benefit people's relationships because they won't expend all this energy talking <laughs> to people throughout the day, and they'll be able to spend that time with their loved ones and be able to give them the quality conversation they deserve. Wow. I see? Bite. It is. A, <laughs> I really thought this through. It's a bright future. Coming up.